Hello friends, today uh, I am going to discuss two different types of uh, charts. One is pie chart and other is a column chart. So these are the two charts which I am going to discuss now. Because I have already discussed tabulation. If you want any other uh, query about tabulation, which kind of table you want to create, you can always write me an email or give me a comment so I can uh, further uh, release a video on the tables. So today I'll be discussing right from the word go that how to develop a pie chart and how to develop a bar chart. So it involves actually two steps. First of all, I'll be discussing pie chart. So I'll be discussing pie chart. Very important. And uh, in most of the presentations, you have to use a pie chart. And sometimes in your research reports, you have to show data through pie chart. So it is very, very important. So how to do pie chart? It is going to involve two processes. One is of tabulation and other is of creating a pie chart. I will be creating a pie chart right out of the raw data which is right in front of me. So uh, in this uh, video, in fact, you can learn if you skip the few previous videos how to do tabulation and how to construct a pie chart out of it. Suppose I just want to create a pie chart about the age of people that how many people of what age with what percentage are there in this particular data set. So one way is to represent through through a table, represent them through a table. Other way is uh, to represent through a chart. Chart representation is always considered as good representation. So what you can do is you can uh, keep your cursor in the table and you just invoke the pivot table. I'm using my keyboard shortcut. Otherwise you can go to insert and there is this pivot table right here. But I like to use keyboard shortcut. So Alt and B and immediately the pivot table dialog box appears. So it takes the whole range, I carefully che checks that and uh, I'm going to dump my pivot table on existing worksheet. It is going to ask me for a location, I give it a location same way I was doing in my previous videos and I click OK. So right now my objective is to construct a pie chart on age. So I'm dragging and dropping age to row and then age to columns. Oh, extremely sorry, I just let me drop it back. So age, I'm going to drop it to rows and then age, I'm going to drop it to values. So it is giving me sum of age once again. So like I discussed in my previous video, so I'm going to summarize them as per count. Now I'm going to group them. Of course, I'm going to create groups. So I right click and create groups. Take some default values and it has created the groups. So I'm going to give it a row label called age and this is frequency. So I have my data set right in front of me. Now the first essential condition in order to create a pie chart, you must represent your values or your frequency in percentage. So because the overall pie chart configuration is of 360 degrees and it contains 100% of the data. So I right click in frequency, scroll down <coughs> to show values as, and I'm going to go to percentage of column total. And it immediately gives me the percentage uh, which is available in the data set that what exactly is the percentage of for uh, different age groups there. Now this table is a platform to create a pie chart. So things are pretty simple. I just select this whole data set and uh, notice I'm leaving the grand total because if I pick up the grand total, it is going to reflect in the chart. So I'm going to go to insert and there is this chart uh, group there. From there I select carefully a pie. So I'm happy with a 2D pie. You have several options, a 3D pie, a kind of loop. And uh, this is another pie chart which actually drags one particular uh, thing out of the pie chart. So there are different ways but I always prefer this 2D standard chart. So I'm going to pull it out and immediately it drops the chart. Notice it is not showing me what percentage of age is there. It is only showing me the colors on the right. So I can always right click on my pie chart and add data labels. I can click on add data labels and immediately the that data label pulls in. I can give this chart a title. I can give this chart a title called age. So this is the title which I can give. Uh, I'll be discussing later on how many different ways I can give the title to a chart and how it is dynamic in nature. And this chart I can select right from here and I can paste it anywhere I want. I can uh, cut it, I can copy it, I can paste it on a word file, on a PowerPoint and I can do a hell lot of things with this particular chart. You just have to select the chart. So notice one thing, like if I'm clicking outside the chart, there are no additional ribbons coming up there. But if I click here on the chart, 
one, two, and three. Three different ribbons appear, analyze, design, and format. And there are lots of options available in them. And we discuss design first. So there are number of designs available. Moment you click on a design, it shows the type of layout it is going to generate. So you can pick up the chart which actually goes with your type of report or whatever format you are preparing. You can change the colors of slices. So there are several options available and uh, you can you can uh, add uh, you know different designs again with the layouts and these are the designs available then uh, there is this particular uh, good thing which is called add chart elements you can add a chart uh, title which i've already added so if you click none the title is gone and then you can data label there are different locations at which you can place your data label you don't want data labels at center inside outside best fit data call out and there are another options available i think these are the enough options then legends i can keep it on right on top on left and at bottom so it depends on your need what kind of chart you want to prepare if you go to format then it is going to give you certain things like you can fill the whole shape so there are a lot of options which you can do this is this is an uh, interesting option and uh, which is uh, telling because it's a pivot chart so it is telling you analyze so you can insert a timeline but and timeline cannot be inserted to a pie chart but if you are creating a frequency polygon you can always insert a timeline and uh, you can probably insert a slicer here i guess so you can click ok look at this it is adding these two different genders so you can add that within these particular age groups these are the different genders which are applicable so you can get rid of that again let me add data labels so this is all about pie chart uh, if you are creating through pivot table then only these filters are available you can remove any slice whatever you want immediately that slice will be gone from your chart you can add all slices back so uh, but these facilities are only available with uh, pivot table if you're creating a pie chart through pivot table if you're creating this pie chart through a uh, formula table you're not going to get this filter option right here on the chart so you can now uh, use simple commands you can con use control x key and you can paste it on a word file on a powerpoint file anywhere uh, if you uh, you're working simultaneously on a word file and on a powerpoint file then uh, sometimes it happens that uh, you know the chart becomes very dynamic that means you change something in the table the chart also changes okay this is about pie chart now next thing i'm going to discuss is about uh, column chart so let me create a uh, table once again i'm going to go to insert pivot table and existing worksheet and i'm going to give it a different location this time i'm going to click okay let me go with age once again i'm going to pull the drop and drop to drop it to rows and then going to drop it to values now excel is intelligent enough to understand because in initially i have created similar kind of uh, group arrangement so it has already created the groups now i'm going to type in age then i'm going to type in count now this is the difference you should not ideally represent a column chart through percentage here you should represent it in numbers so you just select this whole data set and there is a keyboard shortcut alt f1 this is a by default setting in excel alt f1 is the key which you use i'm going to type in here it is alt plus f1 so this is the key you need to use to invoke a column chart it is pretty easy and uh, you can add data labels right from here add data labels so the data labels appear that how many in which category you can uh, easily change your uh, you know on these bars and everything if you want to format the chart you can go to design there are several designs available so whatever type of chart you want to place and you can pick one of them whatever suits you best and uh, you can pick up different colors of the bars you can again use different types of layouts right so different layouts can be used you can add access titles also like primary horizontal axis if you want to add some access title i always prefer to keep it on the right corner you can add it like age here 
you can add a particular uh, vertical type look whatever you want to do with chart you need to keep it highlighted so i can i can uh, give it a vertical title and uh, this title is count or frequency whatever you want to do so this is exactly the vertical title you are giving there are another chart and elements so you just 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 can fix up the data tables also it is going to look immediately it starts giving me all the details on uh, x axis grid line so there are a lot of options available which you want to apply there is a trend line which you can apply i'll be discussing these lines in detail when my stats video will continue i'm going to give it a title called age again age of the respondents if you want to give a bigger title age of respondents and uh, this is it this is a good uh, way to represent data rather than showing it in a table you can get rid of this total also you can cut this chart you can paste it anywhere remember the shortcut it is alt f1 so uh, this is the video about uh, pie chart and column chart thank you and let's meet on next video